Hey guys, Team Equal Plays here. So, um, I just wanted to do an update video stemming from the ghost video I did a while back. Um, and I also, like, before starting, will give a little bit of context, um, to help you guys understand a little bit. So, for the context, um, uh, my aunt passed away December 21st of 2021. So, like, four days before Christmas. And then, um, after that, my grandma just went, like, really downhill. Um, because when my grandma lived at my aunt's house, my aunt was, like, the only person that she ever really, like, talked to. And, um, so after my aunt passed away, she really had nobody else to talk to. And she kind of went like, um, and so she went, like, really downhill from there, and then July 3rd, she moved in here, and she just went, like, even more downhill from that, because she kept getting UTIs, and, um, there was one point where my mom called an ambulance because she had a black, like, patch on her leg, which... Typically, it would kind of get better and go away somewhat and then come back, but this time it didn't really get better, um, and she was very confused, so she went to the hospital, and, um, she went to the hospital, and that's where they, um, kind of treated her for, like, her UTI and stuff, and then they put her in the nursing home. And, um, then she went back, um, because it was, like, the final straw, basically. Um, and, basically, they did a CAT scan, because, apparently, um, she was bleeding like very heavily or something so they did a cat scan and that's when they um oh yeah she was coughing up blood i think but they did a cat scan and that's when they found a huge mass over her colon and um so like basically at this point she was literally like 90 years old and the doctors basically said that she wouldn't survive the surgery, and so my mom and my aunt decided the best thing was to put her on hospice so she could live out her final, like, weeks, um, in comfort, and I guess they gave her, like, a really strong, like, pain med or something, like morphine maybe, or something like that, because she was basically in a coma, and we got her home on, like, a Thursday night at 5.30, and... She was alive then, and she was, like, she must have been in a coma or something because she wasn't really responsive. She was just, like, laying there, but she was breathing, and my mom went over and told her that she was home now. Um, and so everything was okay, and we all went to bed. Next morning, I get woken up to my mom, and she's telling me that, um, my grandma passed away. So basically, we got her back that night, and then she passed away in her sleep, like, overnight. And, um, so then we had all, like, all these people here taking information and stuff. But anyway, um, I was actually very emotional when, um, I saw her body, and she wasn't actually alive. I was very emotional. Um, and, yeah, but, anyway, so kind of going back to the ghosts, um, like, sorry, I was trying to see something, um, going back to the ghosts, so, ever since, like, moving in here, like, in the beginning it was okay, but then, like, in the winter time, it was, like, really weird because we were hearing these like very loud 
bangs. Like, I don't know where the hell they came from. But we were hearing these, like, really loud bangs, like, on our roof. And we have no trees that hang over the roof, so, like, we don't know what the bangs were. Um, and, like, like, yeah, we don't know what the bangs were, and we don't have anything hanging over the roof, so we can't, like, we don't know what would explain them. Um, and that brings me to, like... The next thing, so this is actually more creepy, um, more so because of the timing that it occurred at, and like, you know. So basically, there was a night that I'd gotten off my computer, um, and I was getting ready for bed, and I was in my bed, which is back behind me over here, and I was trying to fall asleep, and, um, all of a sudden, I, well, actually, these are, like, two different instances, but, like, this one's more towards the banging, but I heard a very loud bang on the roof, and I don't know what it was, but, yeah, and another one was kind of the same way. I just got off my computer, and I was getting ready for bed, and I was in bed back here, asleep, and, um... All of a sudden, I hear what sounds like somebody or something, like, moving something heavy around. Like, the only way I can describe it is, like, heavy furniture being moved around. But, like, my grandpa, he basically, like, he's very weak, so he can't really lift anything, basically. And, um, like, his walker, the noise that I heard, his walker does not make that noise because when he moves with his walker, his walker is more, like, high-pitched almost. It's still kind of like the rumbling almost, but it's, like, more of a higher-pitched rumbling than what I heard. So the only way I can describe what I heard is what sounded like somebody or something moving heavy furniture around but when i checked the next morning none of the furniture got moved around so i can't explain what that noise was um and then there was the incident before my grandparents moved in where um my mom and dad and i we were getting ready to go out somewhere for um lunch or whatever my dad was already in the car um, waiting for us, because he drove, or he drives, and, um, my mom and I, we were getting ready to leave, and we were coming out, we were both on the first floor, and we heard what sounded like stuff being, like, rummaged through, or whatever, and neither of us know what it was, because no one was upstairs at the time, and nothing really fell, so I don't, it sounded to me like something was being rummaged through, but, like, no one was up here, and, like, and it wasn't, like, it wasn't like anything fell, and nobody was up here, so we don't know what the hell it was. But it was just fucking weird. And then, last but not least, the, um, incidents on the stairs. So, like... After my grandma and grandpa moved in, like, um, there have been times where it'll be late at night between, like, 12 and, like, 2 in the morning, where I'll go downstairs to bring a plate down for my dinner, and, um, I'll be going down the stairs or coming up the stairs, and I'll get this feeling of either being watched or I'll feel like something is gonna, like, grab my foot from under the stairs. So I just try to go as fast as I can and get up to my room. But the weird thing is that, like, the feeling of being watched, it kind of comes from, like, probably either from where my grandpa sleeps or from, like, the living room, but I think it's more so from the living room that it comes from, so I don't know if there's an entity in there or what, but it's like really weird. I don't know 
what all is going on, but if anything else paranormal happens, I'll be sure to let you guys know so that you can kind of give me your opinions in the comments, like, um, like you can with this video, um, anyway, yeah, um, yeah, also, um, happy Easter, uh, early, um, I will not be available Easter because I will be probably at my aunt's house. If not, I'll be working because apparently my manager doesn't know how to do the schedule because it's literally still not out and it's almost the end of the week. Because she does it weekly, so like she does it where by week, so like I'm just getting really pissed at this point because it's still not out. And uh, like. Like, it's still not out, and it's literally almost the end of the week already. So I'm getting, like, really annoyed with her because she needs to do it. Because I need to know if I'm going to have Easter off. Because I did let her know that I need it off, but, like, I just don't know if she's going to remember that. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah. So, Yeah. Um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna see the new Sonic movie, so I'm really excited about that. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, I can't wait to see Tails and Knuckles, but, um, anyway, um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you want. I don't really care. <laughs> um, yeah, anywho. Bye! Unico Plays out!